Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I started messing around with the arrows mod and with the dirt arrows, changing it to different things. I changed it to stone and then I changed its radius to as big as it could be just to see what it was, would do. And I changed it to sphere and I turned solid off. And I'll show you what it created. That is what it created a gigantic dome. Now unfortunately when I shot it I was standing inside of it when it appeared so the whole sky went dark. Yeah, let me show you inside. It won't lag too bad. Where did I make that door? There it is. I actually tunneled myself out. See? This is a gigantic dome. Hold on. Let me switch to the torch arrows and just shoot them randomly. Because you probably can't see it, so it's too dark for you. Render distance back to far. And now maybe you can see it. Slowly appearing because the, uh... See, look, I shoot an arrow up. It doesn't go to the top at all. It goes over there. Probably landed somewhere over there. Yep, there it just landed. I don't even think I can shoot the top of this. Probably can't. See? Look, the arrows all just came right back down. That's just fantastic. It's a gigantic fucking gigantic dome. And look at this. This is something one of the builders that got stuck inside it built. Let's add some light for you guys. There's another thing they built. There's part of a forest in here. You can see it over there. So much lag on that far into distance. Let's walk over this way. I have pretty much made my own bio chamber, biosphere. It's a self sustaining world inside a world or something like that. I'll build a giant farm in here. I don't know. This is a. Uh, see if I can hit the ceiling. My arrows. Come on. Okay. Might have to build up that way. But yeah, this is what I was going to show you guys. My giant dome that got built. Just by one press of the button. I wonder how big that made my world. It was only one megabyte. So it's probably a bit bigger now because this is taking up some of the uh, space or something. Yeah, it's hard to get the arrows to actually stick to the walls. This thing is giant fucking gigantic. Now, if I had left it solid, I probably would have died once I shot the uh, ground. I shot, like, right there, and this whole thing just appeared. And I bet if I had left it on solid, um, I would have been stuck inside a block, the huge block, and or died. So it's probably a good thing I didn't. It's probably a good thing I took solid off. I was thinking it would just build a giant sphere with the bottom wherever the arrow lands, but apparently it builds it wherever the, with the middle wherever the arrow lands, which is kind of scary. See? 
The arrows aren't even getting to the top. They're hitting over there in the trees. Yeah, there's no light in here. I'm leaving. If I can remember where I put the door. It's over there somewhere. Probably almost out of torch arrows. There it is. Oh no, it's nighttime outside. I mean, it's gonna be dark. Alright, well, I'm gonna end the video here because I just wanted to show you guys that. Oh, nah. I was thinking I might try to climb the outside of this, but, uh. That prospect in and of itself is impossible. Sort of. Alright, well, uh. This is a short video, but tune in next time anyways, because I might make another one including this or a different dome I make, because now that I know how to make them, I will do so more often. So, see ya.